Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? I know you can't see me. <laughs> There's a reason. It's a surprise. Uh, so, you know how I was saying that I'm going to be making some changes in my life. And uh, I'm going to start um, doing a membership and all that kind of stuff. And <clears throat> But um, I, I've had some realizations and so I am going to start implementing different things and the first thing that I'm going to start doing is this <laughs> I cut all my hair off <laughs> See, it's all gone Um, I have been watching Jo from Jo's Web for, well, since she started her channel. And that, that was a few, wow, gosh, I guess we all kind of came up at the same time. Um, and August is going to be my, is it my fifth year? Something like that. Um, <clears throat> so anyways. Jojo went gray, complete full on gray. She looks gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and she, she's part of a, I guess there's a, a group of, oh, <laughs> I'm going, what's the hair? Oh, it's this. <laughs> um, I guess she's part of a group. I can't remember what they're called. The silver something. Jo, help me out. Um, so anyways, I, I've been sitting for a couple of years going, should I just go gray? Should I just go gray? And then I tried and you remember that much of my hair was grown out gray and I couldn't stand it. I, I was like, nope, I'm done. So I ended up coloring my hair. <sighs> I decided that's it. I, I'm going to do it. And the only way I can think of doing it is cutting off all my hair and starting the gray process. I mean, from here, from here forward, it's, a, it's gray, right? Like it's growing out the back apparently, cause I couldn't see back there. She says it's dark. So I have a sneaky suspicion that I might get my mom's hair. And if I do, I'm going to be good because my mom was full white, then gray and then dark. And it looked really nice on her. My sister, my sister was so mad at me. She says, we were supposed to go gray together. And I says, yeah. And she says, I already started. And then you went and colored your hair. <laughs> yeah. So she's got about that much gray. And her gray is so pretty. Like it, it's going to look really good on her. So, um, yeah. So I thought, well, because I went to my great nephew's birthday and... She kind of got mad at me. <laughs> so I says, all right, all right, I will do it. <sighs> so here we go. <laughs> um, I'm going to see how the, the process goes. And um, if I get to that point of the grow out, I mean, I'm going to keep my hair short like this. Like you can already see, like I'm, I'm great right there, right? Um, but it's only on one, like one side is, well, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to see how the process goes and I'm going to keep my hair short like this for a while and my hairdresser is going to keep an eye on me because my shop, I'm moving my shop, it, her hairdressing is right next door. So she's going to be like, what are you doing? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so she's a new hairdresser for me. Oh, let me grab my coffee. She's a new hairdresser for me. I didn't quite want it this quite this short, but it's okay. I'm good with it. I've had my hair shorter than this, believe it or not. So I'm good with this. It will get me on the road to where I need to be uh, a lot faster than if I had my hair long. And also, I suffer in the summertime with long hair. Um, I get really overheated. I'm always putting my hair up because I don't know what to do with it. And the, if my neck has hair on it, I get too hot. So I've 
but doing the twisting and the pulling my hair back, I, I started getting headaches. Um, and I have, I've had a headache for the last week and I think my neck is out too, but, <clears throat> um, I'm hoping this is going to help with my headache. Ah, uh, so anyway, and I remember Joe was saying that she was suffering from migraines all the time. And when she went gray and stopped dyeing her hair, her migraines went away. So, yeah, but I think this has, to, has a lot to do with a, my neck, excuse me, I think my neck is all wonky um, and whatever's going on with my ears. So, <clears throat> but anyways, so this is my first step. If it gets to the point where I'm just going, I can't handle this grow out, then I'm going to go in and we're going to bleach it all out and we're going to put that fake gray in just to get me going, just to get me to that point where I'm in the right headspace and I'm okay. <clears throat> so, I, I'm not, I, mm, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, here we go. <laughs> I had a bunch of people saying before when I had my grow out, if I had to cut my hair this short, when I had that grow out, I wouldn't have had very much left. Right. But no, I didn't. So, <laughs> but I had a lot of you say, Oh, I'm so glad that you're going gray. It looks so good. And and I just, I didn't listen. I didn't listen. And when I colored my hair, you all hated it. <laughs> well, a lot of you hated it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I can do it. Yes, I can. But anyway, so that's the first step. Um, Because, yeah, my head has not been on properly for a long time. And... Um, I started going down a really dark path. I, I realized this, this past week, um, when George and I went down to Victoria and we talked, I realized that my, my mind is not healthy. Um, I'm feeling really bad about myself and it's affecting everything in my life. So, um, I want to lose weight. Definitely. I've been talking about it forever, but nothing seemed to get me to do it. Um, nothing seemed important enough to get me to do it. And I decided, you know what? You got to do something. You've had a blood clot this year. You've, you got diabetes this year. Um, you're, you've had two falls. Um, you know, so I, I think my medication, my diabetes medication is starting to help because I was at 200 pounds and I stepped on the scale the other day and I'm at 194 and I went, what? Like what? How did that happen? So yeah, I think the medication is starting to do something. Um, so yeah, I was shocked and that's when I kind of went, okay, it's go time. Right. So, um, George has been doing what's called, it's called DDP yoga. Uh, well, it's called DDPY now, <clears throat> but I, when I get my membership going, I'm going to be talking more about all that, um, in there. But this, I mean, I tried yoga in the past and it damn near killed me. Um, and I, I thought, you know what? I hurt too much to be able to do yoga. Um, my back, I've had back surgery, so I can't do yoga. I, I made all these excuses. And then I saw a couple of videos George sent me about the DDP, um, DDP yoga. It this is a total, this yoga was designed by a wrestler who, um, was very broken at the end of his career. <clears throat> and he went to this lady, this yoga instructor and started doing this yoga and it really, really helped him. And he realized that he could help a lot of people by designing a yoga that would help people that are bigger, 
two, three, four hundred pounds um, that are completely like broken. They've had hip replacement, knee replacements, um, you know, walking in a walker, in wheelchairs, in like all of that. <clears throat> and he did. He, he went on to design this yoga for them and it's helped a lot of people. People that have like, that have completely resigned to the fact that this is the way they're going to be for the rest of their life and you have given up. So I pushed it aside for a long time and I thought, you know what? <clears throat> I can't push this aside forever, but I did. I resigned to this fact that I'm going to be broken for the rest of my life and that I can't lose the weight. I've tried so many different things and I just thought, you know what? It is what it is. Uh, whatever happens, happens. And I just gave up. It's affected my life. It's affected my, my work at the shop. It's affected my marriage. It's affected my relationship with my kids, my grandson. You know, like when I went and saw him this last time and I couldn't run after him, that scared me. Uh, you know, so I just, I thought, what is wrong with me? Like, where, how did I get here? And I know that there's a lot of you out there that are probably thinking the same thing. So I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> this goes very, very, very deep in me. Um, and so you know, with me being, and I was talking to Angela from my precious yarnery yesterday morning, we did a video chat and I said to her, I says, you know what? I, I'm tired of coming on video and being somewhat fake, you know, like I, I am who I am. Right. But to come on here and go, hi, how you doing? And just, la, 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 la. it's exhausting. And I don't feel like I'm being genuine. And I think, I feel like I've kind of ripped you guys off in that sense because, um, but, but then again, I've, I've done a lot of videos where I know you guys have seen it because I get messages saying, are you okay? Right. And then when I am feeling okay and I'm like, Hey, how you doing? And when I get excited about something, then I get messages saying, it's so nice to see you smile again. Um, so I know you guys are watching. I know you guys are taking notice. So what is the point in me fighting it and pretending like everything's okay um, and, and faking it till I make it? it? I'm not okay. I'm not okay. And it's okay to not be okay, <laughs> you know? And um, yeah, so my membership is going to be very raw and very real. And if I'm having a bad day, I'm going to come on there and tell you guys I'm having a bad day. Um, and you know, we'll talk real talk, right? So, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to change my life. I, I, I keep saying it over and over again and I keep saying, you know, then I, then I go into a funk and I go, ugh, what's the point? But, yeah, because I, I have this stupid attitude in my head of I'm 55, I'm going to be 55 next month. I'm more than halfway done my, my life. You know, I could die any day. Who cares? I'll just eat what, what makes me happy. I'll just, you know, do what makes me happy. I'm whatever, you know, I'll die happy, you know, like, and I'm going, whoa, when did that happen? You know, so... Yeah. <clears throat> and, you know, George said to me, he says, you know, there's a whole movement of women that will start exercising and taking care of themselves for themselves, you know, to make themselves happy, not to make anybody else happy. Well, I'm, I'm the type of person who does it to make other people happy. I, I do it to make my husband happy. Um, you know, and it's, it's hard it's hard to get out of that headspace when you've been in it for the rest of the, your, your whole life. So <clears throat> anyway, okay. So there you go. The beginning, the beginning of me. 
<laughs> uh, I think it's going to be a real shock when I see myself full gray. That's going to be a grievance, I think, that I'm going to have to go through. Um, but, yeah. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> so, anyway. Okay. So, today is my day off. I am going to make some t-shirts. Um... I'm going to do some crochet. I did some crochet this morning on the, what do you call it? Waffle stitch sweater that I was doing. Um, I never did show you guys the sweater that I was doing that, that was made on a latte cake. It's at the shop, it's hanging up. I'm getting a lot of good, um, good comments on it, but I haven't showed it to you. So I'm gonna have to do that in my, one of my videos. And uh, it turned out really nice. Um, I put magnetic buttons on it. I'm going to use those more often. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's going to be my day, I think. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. I will talk to you guys later. Hey, Yarnabies. I'm back. So, I just spent a couple hours, I guess, uh, making t-shirts. And I thought I'd show them to you guys because I'm pretty happy with them. <laughs> um, I'm thinking about having these like and like t-shirts that I make. I'm going to have available for my subscribers to purchase. Um, they're all twenty five dollars Canadian. So yeah, uh, let me know if you're interested. But look at this. I'm so happy with these. Okay. I made this with George in mind. <laughs> so there's that one. I made his in blue to go with his blue eyes. So, and I think, but I think I made it too big. <laughs> He's going to swim in this. So I made that one. That was the first one I made. Um, so, and then this one, hilarious, am I right? Yes, I used to be cool. Now I'm just my dog's snack dealer. I'm living that life for sure. So I did that one in white and then I did it in, oops, in pink as well. So... I'm going to be doing a lot more of these kind of shirts. Uh, this one I think is going to sell really well. <laughs> Oops. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much going to be a motto. Um... I did this, oh, this one, Can I, there it is. So I thought that looked good on the um, blue shirt. So that, this, one, <laughs> this one is totally me too. George says, are you sure you didn't make all these for you? <laughs> like, <"Rawr." laughs> oh, can you see that? Yes. <laughs> so I did that and I did it in purple as well. Uh, I did another black one in a different size. This one I can't show because I made that for somebody. <laughs> uh, she watches my channel. <laughs> and then I did this one in a, in a bigger size as well. <clears throat> so those are the first sets of t-shirts that I've made. Uh, I have other shirts in my shop that I did with sublimation. Um, these ones are heat press vinyl, which I've never done before. Um, because I didn't think I could because I don't have a Cricut machine. But I found a way. <laughs> yes, I did. So I'm going to be bringing in more decals. Um, 
and I'm going to be making more t-shirts. So, yeah. So let me know if you're interested. Okay, see you in a bit. Good morning, Yarnabees. How are you? So, I did something. <laughs> when am I not doing something? Getting myself into trouble. Co-pilot. Say hi, Bailey. Say hi, Bailey. Say hi. Hello, peoples. Um, so I saw on Instagram and Facebook and like all the mixed medias, um, this product called High Smile. And it's supposed to take the yellow out of your teeth. And uh, they have a product that the concept be behind the one product is the same as purple shampoo, getting the yellow out of your hair. So I thought I'll try it because the yellow in my teeth have been, it's been really bugging me and it's from coffee and everything. <clears throat> and uh, I just, I wanted, I wanted to get the yellow off badly. <laughs> my, my youngest daughter has the most beautiful white teeth. She's really taking care of her teeth. And uh, I thought, geez, I'm never going to have that. So <clears throat> anyway, I bought this stuff, found out I bought the wrong stuff. Um, they have a whole bunch of different products. They've got flavored, like Coca-Cola kind of products and stuff like that. Um, they've got bubblegum flavored products and everything. But it was like de supposedly developed by these dentists and stuff, right? Yeah, and I got a big truck in my way. So I thought, well, you can't believe everything here, but I thought, well, I want to try it. It says that it's, you know, peroxide free. It's, set de you know, it's um, good for, uh, like, you know, when you use peroxide and baking soda, it, um, it tingles and all that makes your gums go white and stuff so uh, it says that it doesn't have peroxide and stuff in it so it doesn't do that and I thought okay good because it, it doesn't send you know sensitivity there we go that's the word I'm looking for so anyway um, I bought I bought a toothpaste from them and it came with a free toothpaste powder and I thought, okay. Uh, I found out later, <laughs> later that I bought the wrong one. It wasn't the purple toothpaste that I bought. It was just the regular toothpaste. Um, but it was, it had the same stuff in it, I guess. So anyway, oh, blinding. <clears throat> so, and can you guys see me? <laughs> so anyway, I um, brushed my teeth last night. I filmed the whole thing. And then brush, brush, brush. You have to brush for two minutes. And I spit it out and I could feel the tingling. And I thought, it's not supposed to have peroxide in it. Like, why is it tingling? So I didn't think much of it. My teeth felt really, really clean. Um, but I didn't see a difference. I didn't see the yellow gone or nothing. So I thought, okay, well, because I bought the wrong toothpaste, it's probably you know gonna take some time for this stuff to actually work. So I went to bed, I woke up the next morning, and I looked at my teeth, and my teeth were, you know, not white, but they were you know on the way. So I guess it just kept working or something, I don't know, but. So I get ready for work, I have to brush my teeth, so I thought, okay, I'm going to brush my teeth again. And I started brushing my teeth and I could feel my gums hurting. Oh, that's George. Hold on. You have an income. Um, and so my gums started hurting and I spit it out and I looked and my gums were bleeding. I was like, what the hell? So I stopped using it right away. And now my gums like here and up here are really red um, they, they're really sore so yeah so I'm gonna contact the company and go what the hell um, so 
I don't know if this is a once a week kind of toothpaste or if this is like, I don't know. But yeah, now my gums really hurt. My teeth feel really clean, but that's not good. So because I, it feels like, it feels like there's peroxide and, and baking soda in it. Um, which is really sad because they say it, that that's not the case, but yeah, so I'll contact the company and find out what uh, what the deal is. And uh, yeah, I'll go from there. Why is this guy like right up my butt? Um, yeah, so I was really disappointed with that. So, but you never know, right? Don't always get what you pay for. It was expensive toothpaste too, so. I thought it was worth a try. Didn't expect that to happen though. Oh, well, anyway. Uh, yeah, so we're on our way to work. Today's Seniors Day, 15% off. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm hoping, and it's a sunny day. Yesterday was rainy and crappy. And um, today is sunny. It's the day after the eclipse. It's going to be a good day. I have a good feeling. <laughs> Let's hope. Okay, so I guess that's it for this video. I will be putting out another video, um, an unboxing video on Friday. So hopefully you guys join in for that. Um, and I, oh, George is trying to call me again. So I'll talk to you guys later. You Love you. Bye. Me.